How's this light? How is this light? Terrible? Mostly terrible. Is that any? That's no better. That's worse. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Why? I went to school. I learned how to do this. Yeah. Today, today, as you already know, because you've read the title before clicking on this video, today we are doing an unboxing of Witch Casket. I've had very little experience with subscription boxes. I get like one regular subscription box, which is snacks and candy. This one's a little bit special. Mm, I hate to say it, but a lot of the kind of um, darker or spooky themed subscription boxes that I've seen out there haven't really appealed to me. Like maybe they're a bit young for me or something. Does that make sense? Or, you know, like not, not quite my style. But I don't know, this one did rather appeal to me. I think this one sounds quite lovely. So this is Witch Casket and I'll read the description for you. Website is witchcasket.co.uk. A family business run by a mother and daughter dedicated to bringing a little magic into the lives of others. It warms our heart to know there are so many magical people around the globe. Each casket is carefully curated and packaged with love and care. So to the best of my understanding this subscription box gives you like witchy stuff like for your altar or things to use and rituals and so on. And I just think that sounds lovely. It says jewellery items, spells, crystals, incense, prints, Alterware. Hmm. If anyone ever asked me, like, are you, are you into that kind of thing? Well, like, I, I was when I was a lot younger. I mean, like, a lot younger. <laughs> My sort of early teenage years. My personal beliefs are really that belief is the most powerful thing you can have. But it's a fact that people do find ritual very helpful when asking for blessings from the universe or for prayers and so on. So, you know, I'm all for it. And I, I mean, obviously I like this kind of thing. I do love crystals and incense. And so if, if anyone asked me, are you into the witchy stuff? I'd say, well, yes and no. Anyway, um, my shit doesn't matter. Let's see what's in the box. I know that a lot of you are into this kind of thing. A lot of Wiccans and Pagans out there amongst us. So this might appeal to you. All right, shall we just open the box up? This is so exciting, really. This is my first sort of like non-food <laughs> subscription box. Witch casket. I think my cats are fighting. Well, they're not properly fighting. They just, you know, they get bored. Play by means of attacking each other. So this was the one from November. So if you get this in future, it will, of course, be different. I believe, it. you know, it's different every month. It's a subscription box. November is our 12th witch casket. There's a list of contents on top, which I'm not going to look at because I don't want to spoil the surprise for myself or for you. Okay, let's open it up. Packing peanuts. Oh, <gasps> tea. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'll just get all the packaging stuff out first. All right, here we go. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Tea, obviously, leaps out at me first. Hibiscus loose leaf tea. I love this sort of thing. I'm never disappointed by receiving tea. But I have not tried this one before. Oh, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So what's this one here? What's the next little bag? Empowerment spell powder blend. Oh. I do find this sort of thing, because it's all about nature and then it's very nice. It, it has like a kind of a good feel to it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm really getting the feeling that this is something that a lot of you would totally go for. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, there's a patch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's a little scroll. Maybe this will explain the powder. Very, very carefully unfurl it. Ah. Ah. Spell powders. Creating your powder. There are many ways to use powders in your spell work. Here are just a few of them. Place the powder in the palm of your hand and blow it into the air. You can draw with your powder to mark out the circle for rituals. You can dress many items with spell powder, such as ritual candles, love letters, etc, etc. You can wear your powder like a talc. Oh, wearing the powder is a good way of taking the magic with you to important meetings, events, or rituals. Well, learning stuff. Right, what's next? Oh, it's something from Curiology. Oh, I love Curiology. You might recognize. I have quite a few things from Curiology and I'm always happy to have another. Might be a little bit hard to see in this terrible lighting, but these are earrings that are silhouettes of a witch's hat and broom. Huh, this box smells really good. There's a lot of lovely smells coming out of it. Oh, okay. Hematite. There's a piece of hematite. Effective for grounding and protecting. Well, I knew that. I used to be a big collector of stones and crystals when I was a child. And I had all these, well I still have them actually, like books on what all the different stones mean. So this comes with a little piece of hematite, which is a very nice, useful thing to have with you. It's also, I like it because it's a very beautiful looking stone. What's this here? It says patchouli. Oh my gosh, it's incense cones. Yay! The patchouli incense cones. Patchouli is my favorite incense and I've never actually had cone incense before so it's an exciting new experience. Believed to have a balancing and grounding effect with which to control anxiety. You know, I'm sensing a theme with these last two things. Grounding and controlling anxiety. You know what? 
that's exactly what I need lately. My head's been in a really bad place for quite a long time, so I mean it will come right. I often feel lately like I'm not really with it, like I'm not really here, it's a bit scary and shitty. I feel like things are coming right, but maybe this will help, you know, these sort of nice things. And what, this is, this, anyway, what have we got here? A button in a tiny little pouch. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a little button that says love and light. Yeah, it's all very positive stuff. Okay, what have we got here? Is this art? Oh, that's cool. That's cool art. I wonder who did it. I'm sure there'll be an explanation on the piece of paper that I haven't looked at yet. That's cool. I like that. I'm liking the variety of stuff in here so far. And there's, there's still quite a lot. There's quite a lot to go. Oh, a tiny little soap. Ah, apple pie soap. How sweet. I feel like the uh, patchouli incense is what's made the, the whole box sort of have this nice aroma. What's this? Oh, that's cute. That's a cute thing to have. That is a nail buffer and clipper set. Oh, so it is. It's something a bit different. This is a this is a nail buffer. It's got that texture and on the back there's clippers. That's cool. That's really cute. And totally useful. And cat shaped. <laughs> now, I'll be wondering what's in this. There's like a little thing wrapped up in paper. What is it? What's it gonna be? Oh, no way. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. It's a tiny little mortar and pestle. Oh! So I guess this would be for grinding herbs and such like. That is really cute. That's adorable. Look at that. It's so small. <laughs> what a nice idea. I feel like they've, yeah, there's so much variety of stuff. And so far, it's like, it's all like nice, good stuff, you know? And the last thing here is a little bag of magic. Oh. Oh. Little bag of magic. All right, I'll, I'll look at the um, the piece of paper. Sort of a little bit of everything in here, really. There's like you know tea and jewelry and incense and the stone and magical powder and soap. Oh, how nice! Just nice things. And where was I? Right here. Okay, now we should look at the list of contents. Witch casket exclusive little bag of magic. Oh, also exclusive was the witch hat and broom earrings from Curiosity. Also exclusive is the uh, crew patch. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Exclusive love and light button badge. Empowerment spell powder blend. Uh, spell powder parchment scroll. Pestle and mortar. Oh, that was my favorite thing. Black cat nail clippers and buffers. Apple pie soap from Lillian Jones. Patchouli incense cans. Hematite crystal and info card. Loose leaf hibiscus tea and art print by Helen B. Well done, Helen B. You're good at that. All spells and rituals are created by a practicing white witch exclusively for witch casket. That's so nice. Proud to be vegan friendly. Well, that was just lovely. If that sounds like the sort of thing that you might be into, then I will link below. It's just witchcasket.co.uk. I think that's really nice. I mean, I think I can totally see the appeal of subscription boxes. It is kind of like a nice surprise. And uh, I think it's a lot nicer and it's a lot more fun to not read out the you know, the stuff that's inside it before opening it. I know, I like surprises. I like nice surprises. And that was full of nice surprises. I'm intrigued by this empowerment spell powder. Like, I wonder what I should use it for. Maybe I'll keep it aside for a while until I need some extra empowerment. Thank you so much to Witch Casket. I think it's great that you exist. And I think this is such a lovely and unique idea for a subscription box. Because like I said, all the other sort of spooky ones that I've seen, I'm sure I haven't seen all of them. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty out there that keep sort of appearing. But all the other ones that I'm, I'm aware of, I don't really feel like any of them really suit my tastes or interests that much. Uh, but this one really stood out to me. I thought that was a lovely idea. And I am not disappointed. I'm looking forward to trying the tea and the soap too. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel and become one of us. It's good to be one of us. It's a good thing. I might go light some of that incense actually because like I can smell it. <laughs> and like I said, patchouli is my favorite incense. And my eyelash is totally falling off all of a sudden. That's so Anyway, as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay magical, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.